Hello gamers. Welcome to season two of The Walking Dead. This is one of one of my favourite Let's Play series. Um season one that is. And I hope you enjoy it this as much as we enjoyed season one. Stay tuned. Previously on The enjoy. Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! We... are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Clementine, I think it'd be safer for you to stay here with Obi. Clementine? Clementine! Oh. No. Oh. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Die! We... I saw my parents. Sad ending that was. God, it's hard to think that was almost two years ago. What do you think? Omid, you can't be serious. I mean, Krista. I am. We are not doing that. Get back! Why I not? Back. Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. <laughs> Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. What if it's a girl? Then we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? <laughs> Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Good old old Mead. Good old Krista. Miss them. They must have been the people in the Hello? distance. Right at the end of it, of season one, where Clementine's by herself, she looks at the distance. There must have been them too. So. Oh, gross! <sighs> What's that? Like a stuffed toy? Well, just left a bit. Lovely. Phew. Good. No one's here. Guess it's safe to get cleaned up. Ugh. 
try to attack. Please have water. Figures. Dry as a desert. Dry as a desert. It's gone enough that way, it's probably gonna be number three. Oh, there it is. Go, pick it up. Probably got no water left in it now. Ew. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. That's my gun. It's mine now. Give it back. Why should I? Tug is shooting in the face. Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why Chins, you ain't got nothing good? Chins went in front of a child. Like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo.
two now, actually. Just leaves one of my favourites. I think Lee was everyone's favourite. Sixteen months later. Krista, talk to me. Whatever happened to the baby? Too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. It's okay. I can wait. <sighs> All we do is wait. And for what? You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise, Omid said that- I know what Omid said. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. Well, north we shall go. What was that to think before it was killed and cooked? A rabbit? Hi, Miss Lee. I'm sure you do. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Yeah, I'm guessing it was a rabbit. So he doesn't carry much in that bag. Let's light his fire. might burn.
I hear that as well. Bullshit! She's lying! Cut the shit, lady! It's... it's just me! What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! That's a distraction for Krista. Get the fuck over here! She survived, I think. <laughs> yeah, she survived. We have to play as uh, Clem the Walking Dead. One way to post the sign. Oh, 
Let's go to the trap. Don't got my own this way. Beware of your surroundings, main cats black bears, coaches, mountain lions, and zombies. She's literally stuck in the middle of the woods. <laughs> nothing with her, nothing at all, not even a weapon. to meet you, Sam. What's he doing? <coughs> Sam! Sam! Where are you going? Wait up! I think Sam's a good name for a dog. Hello? He looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Check everywhere. <sighs> well, here we go. Hello. <gasps> oh my god. Thank you. Look, Sam. I can. <gasps> now I just need... Something to open it with. <laughs> Ten opener. Oh, for the flying disc. Let's play fetch for Sam for a little while. Want to play? Want to play catch? Good boy. Okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. Okay. Want to go again? Go get it, Sam. <laughs> I 
Alright, we'll do it one I more time. I bet you miss this. I sure do. Let's go one more time. Go get it, boy. Oh. Darn. It was good while it lasted, though, right? Yeah, you're right. Shouldn't waste the energy anyway. Think anyone's been sleeping in here? I can't tell. Maybe we better not wait around to find out. What's he seeing? What's the matter, Sam? Like he tried to cut it out. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Himself tied up, or did someone force him to do this? There we go. Stand back, okay? Say good night. Still alive. Stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. <sighs> Still pretty sharp. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Hmm. Please don't be bad. It's probably baked beans or something. Looks like it. <sighs> Thank God. I guess you're pretty hungry too. Here you go. Fucking 
dog. I can't leave the dog. I'm, I'm sorry, Sam. Typical. Fuck. Come on, Glenn, get up. Get me over. Come on. Ram. I'm trying to. Come on, faster, Glenn. I think we're safe. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mentioned what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. 
Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. And it's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! <laughs> what? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. It was. I swear. Swearing doesn't make something so... No, no, no. I'm telling you the truth. Please. Hmm. All right. Let's see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Well, it could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. <laughs> Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. What do you think? All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. What? Hey, that's not even an answer. She doesn't like someone calling her a liar. I wouldn't like it either. I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> <laughs> you don't always beat me at All right, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine, because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit! by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. Hey! <laughs> You're lucky my nephew can't shoot for shit. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? She tried to run, man. Well, Nick, can you really fucking blame her? We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now, what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Uh, damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. 
It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would. <laughs> you were right. You want to be sure about this before you do something you might regret. I'm on your side, kid. No need for a guilt trip. <laughs> Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to cause any trouble. I just wanted to find help. But if you let me go, I promise you'll never see me again. And where exactly would you go? To find help somewhere else if I can. Look. I may be in the minority here, but my gut tells me she's telling the truth. It probably is just a dog bite. Probably. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever's set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? <clears throat> it needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. But we have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do that. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, we'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shit. Maybe you could let me go? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry. Risky for who? much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Just a fair point. Nails out. Oh. 
sleep. There we go. Let's get out of here. like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. some lurker which you probably are you can't be here you got to get out of here you understand get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning you just let me die I wouldn't let you do nothing it's not my call we're a group but you could help and if you don't isn't that the same I don't know all right I'm serious you need to get out of here I saw when everyone was arguing you wanted to help you didn't see anything Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious, you gotta go. I got enough problems already. It would be bad if she knew you were talking to me. Damn right it would be. I don't want to have to tell her. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, language. You little... Getting yourself up in my business. I just need help. And you don't need any trouble. Do it, or I'll tell her. You're a real piece of work. I don't have any choice. Fine. You treat people like this, you ain't gonna have anyone. If you live. What else could I do? Leave me the hell alone. I'll do what I can. But I'm not promising anything. The, bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. some bandages and I uh I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty <laughs> okay thank you Alvin house meeting in five minutes oh okay thanks now you need to go so I got thread bandages and the juice box what else do we need Needle on peroxide. <sighs> peroxide. Oh no, not back up the stairs. Hello.
Nails. Where's my hammer? It's hammer time. has more to say, I guess. Where's Sarah? She's got her book. She doesn't need to be a part of this. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Fouls them. They will medical supplies upstairs. Bingo. It's clean. I'll still need something to keep it from getting infected. Peroxide. Let me on some time. Let it be okay, just let it be his. Help me. I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. What are you reading? A book? What book? I like books. It's called The Gurgles. It's about transdimensional body snatchers. Cool. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. Did you see it? Uh, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? 
You have to bandage it, like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I just need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. Okay. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. We're not the same age. What? We're not the same age. You said we were. We're not. How old are you? I'm 15. I'm younger. A lot. You don't seem like it. That's just how it is. So we can be friends then? Yes. Promise? Yes. I think it's right now. Pinky swear. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Back to the shed. Thanks, Sarah. Okay. Better get somewhere safer to do this. So I've got a fishing line, hammer, rags, needle, hammer, rags, juice box, needle. Oops, I'm awesome. Okay. Hope some of you know your basic suck. first aid. Let's have a drink first. Get that chill light levels up. Does my chin peroxide on? This is gonna suck. <laughs> Part. Now, just like last time, just how Krista showed me. Ah! <laughs> 
One last bit now. So let's put them. Let's get it dressed. Damn it. <laughs> Shit. Kick in the face. Kick in the face. Get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? Are you happy? I could have died, you know. Well, you didn't. I just needed some help. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to I did. I took stuff. And I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. <laughs> Damn looker sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. What do you mean? You manipulated my daughter. I asked for her help. She's not someone you can just ask for help. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, but there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. She knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there. She would cease to function. Maybe she's, she's my little shelter. girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. 
She needs to grow up sometime. You do not know what she needs. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else. That your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. Same to you. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Chick stayed scout. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. What happened? Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I guess. Yeah. I guess so. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? Time. I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Okay, let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. You're just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. They died. That's tough. I, uh, I lost my folks, too. Hey, I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mmm, wouldn't that be nice?
Oh, you're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. Don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. For what? You can't pull some shit on me. I'm not my husband. You should watch your language if you're going to be a mom. You should watch your ass if you know what's good for you. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. Whose baby is it? <laughs> Whose baby is it? Excuse me? If it's not Alvin's, whose is it? You shut your fucking mouth. You should probably think about being nicer to me. That's just my advice. <laughs> I knew you were going to be a fucking problem. Nice one, Clint. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Oh, that's sad. Hey! Why didn't you wait? <laughs> you want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because <laughs> you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. <laughs> So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice, Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. Pardon me. Switch to Nick.
This one's shot too. Through the head? Yeah. yeah. Check the rest. And look for ammo. We're running low. Can I help? I got it. Miserable fuck. There are more out there. This wasn't no rinky dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Because they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? <laughs> that nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You want to be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there, waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. All shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. Damn it. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were. Let's go for this one, right? Krista, the woman I was with, what happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me. <coughs> Please. Where it's all gone to pot. Another. F Just 
Next time, on The Walking Dead. What are we gonna do? Someone's outside. Someone came here looking for you. A man. What? Did he say what his name was? We know damn well who it was. Who is he? One of the guys we were with before. What's he gonna do? I can't keep going. I figure we got about four to five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. Catch you in the next episode.